at the pawn shop over here paid 20 for a ps4 camera this is the version 2 um i believe it can go for up to 100 bucks maybe 80 to 100 i will say so for 20 bucks it's not a bad deal at all later this was a facebook deal paid 30 bucks for a uh, the wii and four games the games are crap but the wii is the 25th anniversary so it should be decent money later at the tax sale way up there um almost had a deal they have some decent stuff all decent stuff but they looked it up on ebay they say this morning so that kind of killed it all um they wanted kind of half a retail and for me i could just couldn't afford it it was really good expensive stuff this is what i picked up for 72 bucks so come for the psp just some cdi games astrology this battleship tetris um pinball and the best game out of them all and the reason why i paid 70 bucks was hotel mario um never seen it complete very happy to pick it up later So at the flea, this is the one in Mansfield. I picked up a few things. Um, the Soul Silver was five bucks. I should be able to get like 25 bucks for that. Trilogy was five. Um, Grand Theft Auto, the dual pack with Small Soldiers was 10, I believe. These two were five. Um, the unknown video game hunter hooked me up with Vex and the Matrix that I didn't have, so very happy to pick that up. Um, this DNC and Revolution was a waste of money, but I paid seven for that. And then this is the best thing out of the deal, the Donkey Kong pinball set and that was 15 from my guy at the flea they kind of give me good deal so very happy to get that later so this was an offer up deal paid 30 for everything call of duty remastered seven days to die which i didn't have subnautica i didn't have terraria um ww2 should trade in for 10 bucks at gamestop and red Red redemption 2 i didn't have so all together 30 bucks later at the goodwill paid five bucks for rock band four should go for about 20 bucks so this was part of a facebook deal they had a bundle a sega bundle for 250 I asked about these two games and they said 50 for these two. Um, Toja Monero complete and Shinobi 3 complete. This game right now is going for decent money. So 50 altogether, I think it's a good deal. Later. All right, guys, so here my pickups for the last week or so. As always, we'll do pawn shops, flea markets, thrift stores, and everything in between. It was a good week. Um, I added a few things that are rare and cool for my collection. Um, we'll get started right away. This was from Facebook. I paid 30 bucks for the 25th anniversary Wii. I should be able to sell this for 150. I also had a few um, common Wii games that I'm going to give to the baby. M mainly the one was one from the brat, something like that. But like I said, 30 bucks, I think it was for this. It's a really good deal. Like I said, I should be able to get 160 all day. Another thing went to the flea market. I picked up a couple of cool things. This was by far the best or the coolest. Um, this probably would have been the pickup of the week, but I do have a nice pickup of the week coming up. So I added this Donkey Kong pinball. It actually works. It turns on and it's really, really cool. I paid 15 for this at the flea market. I went with the unknown video game hunter. He also gave me some games and I completely forgot to put them in this video, but I believe there were two games that I needed to my collection. So thank you to him. Another thing that I got from the flea market was the Pokemon Soul Silver, five bucks. That I already sold for thirty. Picked up Mortal Kombat Trilogy also for five bucks. Um, MC Craze. I didn't have the game. The box is beat up, and it came with the pad. I paid seven bucks for everything. It's one of those things that I really didn't even want to buy, but you just dare. You just buy it and get over it. Um, so I paid seven for this. It's like a big box, really beat up. 
with the mat and the game. Seven bucks for that. So that's not a bad deal for that anyway. Um, another vendor picked up Grand Theft Auto. Just a double pack. It's just because I'm collecting now the red labels that I got that. Um, I also got small soldiers for the PS1. And it was 10 bucks altogether for those two things. Um, at a pawn shop, picked up. I went there. He had, they had a whole bunch of control. They had a bucket. And it said everything was five bucks. And if you buy five things, it was 20 bucks. I picked up this. I did, they call it Power 8 controllers. They're really, I believe, from the ratings, they're not that good. But I picked all of them up for 20 bucks. This is the coolest one. And this is probably the one that I'm going to keep. This one actually goes for about 30 bucks. And the best thing that I had in that bucket was uh, Donkey Kong Returns sealed. And this goes for about 50 bucks all day. So very happy to pick this up and add it to the collection. Um, Goodwill picked up Rock Band for, I think it's five bucks. And MLB Slugfest was 150 because it was half off. Um, at This was a Facebook deal. The person wanted... Um, two fifty for a Sega Genesis lot. I just wanted two games. I asked them straight up, um, what did they want for those two games? And they said fifty bucks. So for those fifty bucks, I picked up um, Toy Jam and Earl complete in really nice condition, and Shinobi Three really, really nice condition. And like I said, those two were fifty bucks, and I think it's at least at least a hundred bucks worth of games. So very happy to pick that up. This was another, this was offer up. I paid 30 bucks for everything. Seven days to die. I'm going to keep Terraria for the wife. Red Dead Redemption 2, I didn't have. So I'll keep that one also. COD is remastered. I think this goes for about 16 bucks these days on GameStop. Just because they have a promo sale. Call of Duty WW2 also goes for about 10 bucks at GameStop. And Subnautica goes for about 11 12 right now. So I should be able to get all my money back in credit and keep Red Dead, Terraria, and Seven Days. Um, this was a really good deal from a garage sale, basically. I paid 70 bucks for everything. The lady has some really nice stuff. But they checked out the prices, so I kind of had to haggle and do what I had to do to get what I did. But I paid 70 altogether for... Fire Team or SOCOM Bravo 3, 3, Astrology for the CDI, um, the Smithsonian for the CDI, I don't know what this is, text, I guess, Battleship, Pinball, again, all these for the CDI, Tetris for the CDI, and by far the best game and something that is very rare and kind of hard to find, Hotel Mario for the CDI, it's actually in excellent, excellent shape. It has the sleeve, and this game, yeah, it's a $100 game all day. So if I decide to sell the rest of the CDI stuff, this game will basically be for free. So very happy, very excited to add this to the collection. At a pawn shop, I also picked up um, this PlayStation 4 camera. This is the first version, the original version. I should be able to get 60 70 bucks for it. I paid 20 bucks for that, so that's not a bad deal. I also picked up another one for 20 Five, this version two and that one sold for a hundred bucks or very close to a hundred bucks so if you see them around make sure you pick them up playstation 4 cameras are going for really really big money this day and then uh, my last deal of the day was a trade and it was also the pickup of the week So trading these two for a special controller in like about a second later. So the trade was for the Resident Evil controller. Um, it's for the GameCube. It's the one I wanted. And like I said, Strikers and Mario Baseball for this. Later. So the pickup of the week was the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw controller. Um, this is a controller that... I actually was talking more about getting the PlayStation 2 controller because I know this is extremely hard to find, especially for the GameCube. It looks, obviously it doesn't look like a real chainsaw, obviously, but 
It is so cool. It is something so different that I'm very happy to add it to the collection. I traded Strikers and Mario Baseball for the GameCube. But it's really cool. Um, it basically, it has a serial number in the bottom. It does say Resident Evil. Pretty cool. I think it's excellent. Um, it also comes with the base. And in here, the cable for it goes, the gate cable for it goes inside of there. It does not have the cable. It does not have the case. But I could get the cable. I believe Etsy has it um, basically for 25 bucks. And it's basically two male ends. One goes in here. One goes inside the GameCube. Very happy. Very excited to pick this up. It's one of those things that I never thought I was going to get. Um, so an excellent place to put it. I'm probably going to put it right here with my other GameCube stuff. Um, the week was an excellent, excellent week just because I got to add this Donkey Kong, which is awesome. Um, I got to add some SEAL games, Toja and Earl, Shinobi, this um, Hotel Mario. It's an awesome, awesome pickup. And obviously, the chainsaw controller is the cherry on the top. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, we will see you all next week. Later.